I actually have my poem written on my phone, so I'm really not ignoring anybody, I promise. Um, I wrote this poem uh, about the Hubbard statue in Dearborn. They brought it outside after they said they weren't going to. They said they were going to put it away. And I feel like the statue has a bunch of negative energy, a lot of bad like feelings about it, uh, mostly because I'm sure everybody who's from Dearborn knows that Hubbard was a staunch segregationist. He was a really horrible racist. He didn't like autobs. He didn't like you know, mixed marriages, which I'm, uh, I'm a product of. Um, my mother is American, my father is Lebanese. So I wrote this poem about my feelings towards it, especially with what happened at Charlottesville. Um, so here's my poem. The smokestacks on the south end, my grandfather's grape leaves conquering a fence in the east. The mighty oaks in the west drop leaves at my feet. A bronze statue whispers the words of my grandmother. Sand nigger. If you're not white, what are you, black? Color, a fate worse than treason. Cars, cars roll down the street from Ford's garage and pull to the side, I see cops keeping Dearborn clean and the words of the bronze statue in my grandmother's pulse. I don't want those black bastards living here. Hate has no reason. Color's a crime where handcuffs are concerned. White supremacy flashes red, white, and blue. Blue bruises jutting against the whites of our witness eyes. A smoking gun shooting unarmed dreams. And my grandmother and Hubbard, that bronze bastard, drink lemonade and lament over my birth. The mongrelization of civilization, half-caste girl, sand nigger, terrorist girl, in her tall minaret, praising the moon, watching the smoke billow from the, from the south, picking grape, grape leaves to see neighbors in the east, floating like oak pollen clouds in the west, tossing bronze and sunflower seeds into trash, white trash, keeping Dearborn real. Uh, and that's my poem. <laughs> uh, thank you.